आता मी तुम्हाला एम कॉमच्या पहिले लेक्चर कसं होणार त्या संदर्भात थोडक्यात माहिती देतो आहे आपली संस्था साहेब रिसर्च ही गेली तीस वर्ष कार्यरत शैक्षणिक क्षेत्रामध्ये कार्यरत आहे आणि आपल्याला वेगवेगळे उपक्रम राबवत आहेत त्याचप्रमाणे आपली संस्था ही गेल्या दोन वर्षापासून एस पी के कॉलेजशी संलग्न झालेली आहे आणि आपले जे उपक्रम असतात बी ए बी कॉम जे जास्त विद्यार्थी संख्या असणारे ते सर्व उपक्रम आम्ही त्या कॉलेजला घेत असतो तसेच तुमचं आज हे एम कॉमचं पहिलं लेक्चर आहे त्या संदर्भात मी तुम्हाला वर्षभराची पूर्ण कल्पना देणार आहे कसं वर्षभराचा पूर्ण कार्यक्रम कसा असतो तो मी तुम्हाला थोडक्यात सांगतो आहे पहिल्यांदा दर रविवारी तुमचे हे एम कॉमचे लेक्चर दर संडेला असणार आहे त्याप्रमाणे तुम्हाला या दर रविवारी असणार त्यामध्ये वेगवेगळ्या विषयाचे लेक्चर घेतले जातील तसेच तुम्हाला तसेच तुम्हाला लेक्चर घेतल्यानंतर दर रविवारी तुम्हाला त्यावर प्रश्न दिले जातील आणि तुम्हाला ह्या वर्षभरामध्ये काय काय करायचं आहे ते मी तुम्हाला सांगणार आहे पहिल्यांदा तुम्हाला आता लेक्चर घेतल्यानंतर तुमचे थोड्याच दिवसात का होम असाइनमेंट येतील होम असाइनमेंट आल्यानंतर ते तुम्हाला सोडून आमच्याकडे सबमिट करून द्यायचे आहेत त्याच्यानंतर तुम्हाला ते असाइनमेंटचे मार्क विद्यापीठामार्फत दिले जातील आणि त्याचप्रमाणे तुम्हाला त्याचप्रमाणे तुम्हाला परीक्षेचा सिलेबस म्हणजे पेपर शिफ्टी कशी असणार तर गेल्या वर्षीपर्यंत चार पेपर असायचे ह्या वर्षी एन ई पी पॅटर्न सुरू झाल्यामुळे तुम्हाला सहा विषय असणार आहेत त्यामध्ये तुम्हाला ऐंशी मार्काचा आहे तो थिअरीचा सिलेबस असणार आहे आणि वीस मार्क आहेत ते तुम्हाला असाइनमेंटचे असणार आहेत म्हणजे आमच्याकडनं तुम्हाला ते गुण दिले जाणार आहेत म्हणजे प्रत्येक पेपर हा ऐंशी मार्काचा असे सहा पेपर तुम्हाला असणार आहे आणि वीस मार्क तुम्हाला असाइनमेंट जे दिले जाणार आहेत अशा प्रकारे हा पूर्ण वर्षाचा सिलेबस तुम्हाला पूर्ण वर्षाचा सिलेबस तुम्हाला राबवला जाणार आहे त्याचप्रमाणे आता आम्ही आमचे सर जे पाटील सर आहेत ते तुम्हाला पुढचं लेक्चर घेणार तर मी तुम्हाला पाटील सरांची ओळख करून देतो आहे हे आमचे पाटील सर आहेत आणि हे तुम्हाला एम कॉम बद्दल पुढील लेक्चर आहे ते पूर्ण सर अकाउंट सब्जेक्टचं आहे आणि अकाउंटीचा पूर्ण सब्जेक्ट सर तुम्हाला घेते गुड आफ्टरनून जस्ट आय एम टेकिंग वन सब्जेक्ट हिअर दॅट मॅनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग विच इज अ कंपल्सरी सब्जेक्ट फॉर यू दॅट इज मॅनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग management accounting this is a paper first it is a compulsory papers and uh, for this just we'll go on making discussion some topics are there and out of that topics just we'll go on making the detailed discussions in that topic so here they will give to you just now my colleague uh, samir sir has been introduced to you so there will be 80 marks portion uh, this is the new education policies first time they are introducing but uh, the subject were there the subject was there in the last uh, syllabus also 80 marks four subjects ah uh, there are four subjects but they are taking now in new education policy six six subjects are there so paper will be our 80 marks and 20 marks will be on assignment correct so in that uh, 80 marks portion they will uh, give to you the four questions to you for 20 marks for assignment assignment 20 marks and there will be question paper of 80 marks which consisted each question 20 marks 20 into 4 80 and in that question 1 they will give to you five options for you a b c d five out of five you have to attempt four correct so like that it will be there now just we'll see 
in the content. Content means the topic which are contained in that uh, management accounting one is given to you. So first topic they are given to you meaning and definition of management accounting. So they are given the introductions and there will be the one questions. What is management? And they will give to you, give the definition of management. What are the characteristics of management, functions of management? Like that, they can ask to you one questions. You have to attempt for this. Then another things they are given to you, the second unit. In that will be the financial accounting, cost accounting, management accounting. So regarding that, they are given to you the branches of accounting. There are three branches of accounting. In fact, here they are given seven in numbers. Seven in number, but uh, actually the broad categorization they made for the three branches of accounting. First is financial accounting, which can consist regarding the finance only. So financial matters can be recorded here in this case by making the financial statements that is trading account, profit and loss account, balance sheet, then preparation of trial balance and all this by using the accounting cycle. The financial, all financial matter can be recorded in financial accounting is the first first branch then another they are given to you the cost accounting cost accounting this uh, topic consisted regarding the cost of materials means regarding the costing suppose you want to make any manufacture of one particular product then what is the cost for that in that cost what is the material how much material required the labor required then overheads required cost regarding cost material material then labors then after that they will give to you material labor and overheads means expenditures so regarding all the cost matters regarding this they will give to you suppose you want to introduce one particular table here suppose table manufacturing of tables number of tables then what is the cost of that table for that table it requires material it requires labor labor means carpet or requires then after that overheads means other expenditure required nail polish and all these things is required and then they will consider and decide what is the cost of the table. Say, for example, the cost of a table is 2000. They introduce this is the cost of the table 2000. They, for so everything, everything there, it, everything it will be there, including means material, labor, or it's, or it's means expenses, other expenses. Then they decided, they, they decided this table can be sold for 2500, having a profit of 500 rupees. So only regarding the cost of the things will be considered cost accounting. And other third branch of accounting is that is management accounting. Means it in the it is the topmost topmost post means all the managerial decision can be taken there. Managerial decision can be taken. Means cost accounting give the guidance to us what is the cost of the particular product, and according to that management can take the decision. How much uh, that product can be sales means all the decision will be taken in that branch means whether to continue this product whether to sell this product or buy and sell this product or make the production of this product such types of all decision can be taken in the management accounting means managerial powers are there they're taking the decisions will be there suggestions will be given there means what to do in this connection they will be these are the three branches then tools and techniques and role of management then tools of techniques yes. there are many more tools of techniques just just we'll go on making little discussion general discussion on this topic and uh, detail when i'll take, take one topic today <clears throat> then tools means here the various tools that can be used under this connection will be that is tools will be they can prepare the various statements the tools will be fund flows they can prepare cash flow they can prepare then uh, income statement they can prepare but income statement and balance sheet they can prepare in vertical form not in horizontal form there vertical form as per the company act 2013 by following some schedules there they prepare the income statement vertically as well as uh, balance sheet vertically and after that they will prepare trend analysis trend analysis then in that comparative balance sheet comparative income statement common size balance sheet common size income statement correct then ratio analysis will be there then fund flows will be there then cash flows will be there and after that these are the various tools techniques they can using 
in in that topic and regarding all information regarding the tools and techniques and role to the management means how they pay, play the role regarding that techniques just they can using here then after that analysis of financial statement so in analysis, analysis of financial statements once again they are given all the procedures and all these things then common size statement trend analysis just means they can discuss one by taking one 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 by one tool, tools there is there one 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 part they are taking means in that common size statement and trend analysis uh, this is all all management accounting this the, in these books regarding the branches only the management they are given to you so here they will prepare the income statement say for example i will take the example how they prepare vertical income statement income statement start first will be sales there sales less return then less cost of goods sold they will give you then cost of goods sold in in that will be opening stock of raw material add purchases less closing stock then you will get the cost of goods sold from sales cost of goods sold you will get their gross profit gross profit will be given after gross profit less expenses is there operating expenses in that first is office expenses then administrative expenses selling distribution expenses so from that they will give to you that is gross profit less operating expenses you will get their operating profit then less income tax if any then you will get their tax after means income after tax then less tax you will get the net retained earning there so like that they can prepare the balance sheet after preparation of balance sheet another the common size of uh, how to prepare the uh, common size balance sheet also i take vertical balance sheet in that sense the, uh, um, means this is income statement vertical i told you just now now how they prepare vertical balance sheet as per the companies act 2013 by following the schedule there so first will be liabilities they will take their liabilities in that liability first will be the share capital in that share capital will be equity shares preference shares then second will be reserves and surplus third will be borrowed capital borrowed capital means we have the shares debenture and like this then total capital will be there total funds then after that they can start the asset side assets in that asset first will be the fixed asset another second investment third will be the current assets loan and advances so in that first will be first fixed asset then investment then working capital then working capital they have to calculate working capital first they will take all current assets less current liabilities then working capital then summation of all three is first will be fixed asset investment and working capital the total that is capital employed for this thing so funds employed so like that they can prepare so here in this connection also they will give to you trend analysis trend trend analysis since in the sense they will give to you income statement so income statement they will give to you last 2 3 years they will just see it like this income statement they prepare like this say for example here 20 21 22 and 23 four years in that one income statement they will give you income first will be sales for, for one year to four years Four years, four years. Sales was twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, like this. Then after that, less cost of goods sold, gross profit, everything will be given. But four years. Out of that things, what you have to do? You have to ascertain the percentage increase or decrease. The percentage you can ascertain here. Say for example, this is hundred. Correct. So out of these four years, you can take as a base year, base for hundred. Mean first year will be hundred. Every time you can take hundred, hundred, hundred like this. Then from this, how many percentage will be there? For, for for this, how many percentage will be there? Means in that you can take hundred, and after that by taking into consideration this is base. Means every time they will give to say here one fifty, two hundred, and three hundred like that. Percentage. Then ascertain the percentage here. How they ascertain? Here one fifty divided by hundred. Percentage multiplied by hundred, you will get first year's percentage, then second year percentage, third year percentage. So like that it will work. This is called trend analysis. Out of the given years, first you can take one year is a uh, that is hundred base base you can take. 
means most most probably they will give to the first year of the base year considering 100 100 year this is called train analysis uh, like that also com common size and comparative is there so in that common size also and comparative also so comparison is also made like this year two three years they will give to you and they can taking changes changes in uh, two years increase or decrease then percentage like that so these are the totally common size statement in train analysis then after that ratio they will give to you ratio analysis these are all tools these are the all tools for ratio analysis means it is a mathematical number giving in fractions roman it is automatic means it is a mathematical number they will give to you so mostly the types of ratios are there there are three types of ratios first will be balance sheet ratio correct first is the balance sheet ratio they will give to you in that balance sheet ratio they are asked every time this is the appropriately 100 percent guarantee for this they can ask this ratio first will be the current ratio current ratio they can ask you then how to calculate the current ratio here calculation of current ratio is current assets upon current liabilities is current ratio current assets divided by current liabilities no no not like that you take the total of all the current assets and total of all the current liabilities so i'll tell to you here uh, under the next topic i will go and explaining this what do you mean by the working capital what is the current asset what is current liabilities what are the types for that i'll give to you so first will be they can ascertain the first is current ratio current assets divided by current liabilities and it is always standard ratio is one is to one and two is to one two means there is a two asset and current liabilities will be one because there must be feasibility to pay the, if you take a loan so uh, regarding sanctioning loan they can just see whether this person is feasible to dispose or pay the loan or not for for this purpose they will see this is the ratio there first two is to one is the standard ratio by ascertaining this another is liquid ratio liquid ratio asset test ratio they are given to be or quick ratio quick ratio liquid ratio assisted three names are there for this they can ask this is the balance sheet ratio how to ascertain that quick assets upon quick liabilities they will give to you then how to ascertain quick assets quick assets means current assets minus stock minus prepayment is quick asset quick asset and the quick liability is current liabilities minus bank overdraft is quick liabilities then current quick liabilities upon quick assets is equal to a liquid ratio and it is always one is to one standard ratio is one is to one standard so this is the balance sheet ratio so i'll give everything you don't worry about these things for example suppose if there is a current asset say for example four lakh fifty thousand four lakh fifty thousand is current assets and the current liabilities this is current assets and this is current liability say for example two lakh fifty thousand correct then firstly we have to ascertain the current ratio how to ascertain current ratio current assets upon current liabilities see four lakh fifty thousand divided by two lakh fifty thousand multiplied by you can ascertain the percentage there got it just see so you have got calculator just see there uh, use them just see four lakh fifty thousand divided by two lakh fifty thousand four lakh fifty thousand divided by 2,50,000. How much you get there? 1 point Four something. Divided. 1 point? Divided. Ah, divided. 4 lakh 50,000 divided by 2 lakh 50,000. How much you will get here? 1 point 1 something. Point 1 point 8. Just see here. 1 point 8 is to 1. This is the ratio. Means as compared to this standard ratio, this is not a good ratio. Because standard ratio always it should be 2 is to 1 is the satisfactory ratio. But this ratio is less than the standard ratio. It is not quite satisfactory. It is not satisfactory ratios here. So therefore, you can ascertain like this. Okay. Now just we'll see. If you want to ascertain the quick, quick ratio there. The quick ratio, <coughs> say for example, this current ratio includes the stock. So just see here. Just see this four lakh fifty thousand include a stock, say for stock of rupees fifty thousand, and prepayment of rupees ten thousand, say ten thousand, prepaid expenses ten thousand. 
then how to ascertain the quick asset quick asset can be ascertained current assets minus 50000 minus 10000 means 4 lakh 10000 it is coming means current assets less stock less prepaid expense so it comes to 4 lakh 10000 like this it comes to 4 lakh 10000 and see this is the current liabilities and that current liability include the bank order of say for example bank order of is 20000 bank order of so bank order of means od facility there are four types of accounts in a bank no 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 types of accounts in a bank 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 i am telling to you saving bank then current accounts then recurring deposit then fixed deposit so these are the three four types of account in fact many more are there term deposit and all these things hmm? then uh, pygmy and all these things this is not the main accounts main types of account only four current current account which is useful for the business or traders only and they give the facility of only facility or drop facility only for the current accounts holder only useful for traders or business uh, being as a general person just just see i will go to i'll ask to the bank managers so manager please ask my please open my current account then immediately manager asks what is your business no business no current account means current account is useful for the traders or businessmen only and only OD facility is given on current account holders only OD facility is extra money suppose you have got 5 lakhs if you want 6 lakh <coughs> immediately bank will give to you 6 lakh right. extra 1 lakh because it is a current account because business. business because time to time you are depositing many money many more money in the banks go many so many times in bank withdraw so many times in the bank and there is no rate of interest on current account no rate like this so so this uh, two lakh fifty thousand just say it includes twenty thousand is a bank od means it comes to how much it is coming four ten it is it is now four ten is a quick asset then quick liability will be two lakh fifty thousand minus twenty means it comes to two lakh thirty thousand now just see what is this four lakh ten thousand divided by you can make this on calculators four lakh ten thousand divided by two lakh thirty thousand divided by two lakh thirty thousand thirty thousand one point one point seven is to one now just see one point seven is to one <coughs> is to one this is quite satisfactory ratio <coughs> because standard ratio is one is to one as compared to standard ratio one is to one this ratio is 1.7 is to 1. It is a quite satisfactory ratio. Standard ratio. It is more than standard. standard ratio. It is standard ratio. Like this. These are the two, two types of ratio. Uh, this, is, this is called the quick ratio. Means balance sheet ratios are two. One will be quick. That is first will be current ratio. That is and another will be quick ratio. Balance sheet ratio. Means they make the three categorization. First will be balance sheet ratio, then income statement ratio, and combined ratio, mix ratio is there. Because just see here, they will give to you <coughs> trading account, profit and loss account, and balance sheet. Balance sheet will be given, correct? So you just know you the accounting cycle first. I'll tell you what is the accounting cycle first. I'll tell you. Accounting cycle will be first will be there is a transactions. What is the meaning of transaction? Exchanging of goods and services between the two parties are called transaction. For example, purchase of goods is a transaction. Sale of goods is a transaction. Accounting first cycle will be transactions. After transaction, there is a source document. We ask receipt for them. While purchasing, we'll ask purchase receipt. While selling, sales receipt will be there. Correct? It is a source document. Then after source document, the record journal. The record journal is there. Correct? Journal means daily record. The word journal has been derived from the French word jour means a day. Therefore, journal means daily record. So there is one slogan in India also. So each and every business will appoint an <coughs> accountant there. And for that accountant, that businessman, the owner said, <coughs> slogan is there in Hindi. First, first, 
फर्स्ट लिख दो भाई भूल फड़े तो देख लो फर्स्ट यू टू राइट एंड इफ यू फॉर गॉटन जस्ट सी वॉट यूर इट लाइक दिस दिस इज स्लोगन सो फॉर कीपिंग एंड रिकॉर्डिंग ईच एंड एवरी थिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड जर्नल फर्स्ट इज ट्रांजेक्शन सोर्स डॉक्यूमेंट जर्नल आफ्टर जर्नल विल प्रिपेयर लेजर लेजर मीन ग्रूस अकाउंट सो सैलरी अकाउंट में जिस अकाउंट में सैलरी पेड हाउ मच परचेज मेड हाउ मच सेल्स इफेक्टेड हाउ मच डिस्काउंट रिसीव हाउ मच कमीशन रिसीव हाउ मच कमीशन पेड लाइक दैट ऑल लेजर अकाउंट ग्रुप्स ऑफ अकाउंट इज कॉल्ड लेजर आफ्टर लेजर वी कैन मूव टूवर्ड्स द ट्रायल बैलेंस व्हाट इज ट्रायल बैलेंस इन ट्रायल बैलेंस इज नथिंग बट इट इज द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द डेबिट एज वेल एज क्रेडिट बैलेंसेस ऑफ द लेजर अकाउंट इट इज प्रिपेयर्ड टू चेकिंग द करेक्ट अरिथमेटिक एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द कंसर्न इट इज इट इज प्रिपेयर्ड टू चेकिंग द करेक्ट अरिथमेटिक एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द कंसर्न इट इज कॉल्ड ट्रायल बैलेंस एंड फ्रॉम ट्रायल बैलेंस they prepare final accounts then what is final accounts final account is a statement showing just see it is a statement showing trading account profit and loss account balance sheet prepared on the basis correct so just see it is its capital is coming in the balance sheet so first is trading account profit and loss account balance sheet which is prepared on the basis of trial balance and adjustment to arrive at net result and financial position of the concern This is final account, or the account which is prepared at the end of the accounting period to ascertaining profit or loss is called final account. It is prepared by means of trading account, profit or loss account, and balance sheet. So, like that here, in this connection, they will go on moving like this. This is ratio analysis. First is balance sheet ratio, then income statement ratio. In that, gross profit, gross profit ratio, then net profit ratio, operating ratios, then. Capital employed ratios, so like this, and mix ratio, combined ratio is there. What, the what is gross. gross profit? Gross profit. How to ascertain gross profit? First will be sales less cost of goods sold is gross profit. Sales means net sales less gross profit, less less sales uh, cost of goods sold. How to ascertain cost of goods sold? Just see, opening stock of raw material, add purchases less closing stock. This is cost of goods sold. From sales, deduct this. You will get gross profit. Gross profit. It is also called gross margin also. Correct. Gross profit. Then if you ascertain the gross profit, how much gross profit? So gross profit can be ascertained by using the formula. Here there are in our books there are your thirty nine formulas regarding ratios. Thirty nine formulas are there here. All what I explaining, which is combined in three things. Three things. First is first will balance income statement ratio, balance ratio, and combined ratio. 39 formulas are there out of 39 formula they will ask in the examination five formulas in that 100% concrete thing is current ratio and liquid ratio and net profit ratio gross profit ratio like that they will you too then you ask me the, you are just uh, answer, ask, ask me the one question that is what is gross profit ratio how to ascertain that gross profit ratio sales minus cost of goods is gross profit you get there then we have to ascertain by using the formula gross profit is equal to net sales upon Gross profit multiplied by hundred, you will get that gross profit. Generally, gross profit of each and every business must be near about thirty percent. Gross profit in Marathi it is called double double nappa, double nappa, correct? So it must be not less than thirty percent. So if you go on auditing thing things, they will just see. So what is your gross profit? Thirty percent. Okay, you are in sound position, good conditions. Then after that, net profit. How to can ascertain net profit? So first will be sales less cost of goods sold, gross profit less operating expenses in that administrative expenses, office expenses, selling expenses, selling distribution expenses, finance expense. We have to deduct all these things. It is a net profit before tax. Then less tax, net profit you get there. Then formula is the net profit upon <coughs> net sales upon net profit net profit upon net sales multiplied by hundred. So first is Gross profit upon net sales multiplied by hundred, you will get gross profit thirty percent. GP upon hundred, net sales, gross profit divided by net sales multiplied by hundred, it is gross profit. The net profit is equal to net profit divided by net sales multiplied by hundred, net profit. Then what is the net profit? So net profit nearing to ten to fifteen percent. Ten to fifteen percent net profit. Then so far net profit you are certain we have to transfer to balance sheet to our capital account, correct? And 
we have to prepare the balance sheet to ascertaining the financial position of the concern. We have to prepare the balance sheet. It is not an account. It is a statement. We prepare this statement, our balance sheet, to ascertain the financial position of the concern, whether our business is going on smoothly or not, how much asset with us, how much liability with us, to ascertain of all these things, they can prepare the things. That is called balance sheet, ascertainment of financial. What is trial balance? It is a trial balance list of all the debit as well as credit balances of the ledger accounts. Means how much sales, how much purchases, how much expenses made, how much office expenses, how much administrative expenses. All this they can take and prepare a list and that always get agreed. There are two types, gross trial balance and net trial balance they will take. So they can prepare to checking the correct arithmetical accuracy of the concern. Means whether and it must get tallies. If it is not tallies, they can keep in suspense account. That is called profit and loss suspense account. It is a dummy account. Suppose by preparation of trial balance, debit side fall short, they prepare the suspense account. Credit side fall short, suspense account. Correct? And get the tallies. Suspense account is a dummy account. It is a dummy account. Because your trial balance out or not does not agree, then they can keep the suspense account. Correct. So like this, these are all these things getting in the uh, ratios analysis and the fund flow statement. How much funds required? There are, it is a statement. For that statement, they can sources and uses they will can use. What are the source of income? And how you utilize this income? What is the source of income? Source of income will be by means of issue of sales, you will get income. By issue of debenture, you will get the income. By issue of preference, you will gain. By borrowed loan, by taking loan from the banks, you will get the income. This is source of income. From what source you can taking the income? It is called source of income. Then uses how you utilize this. It is the source. How you utilize purchase of building? This is a utilization. Payment of dividend. Use these things. Then payment of income tax. All this utilization. This is a statement, fund flow statement, required how much funds available with us. By means of this fund flow statement, they can prepare. Another will be the cash flow statement. Because fund flow statement does not get the correct idea regarding the cash. It just gives the ideas regarding the funds there. By getting the exactness of the cash, they prepare the cash flow statement. So there are three, three things in cash flow statement. First is operating activities. There are three types of activities there. Operating activities. Operating activities you are making the operations. By making the operation, they ascertain the cash funds there. Then after will be the finance act activities, financial activities, operating activity, financial activities. So financial activities and investing activities. So first will be operating activity. They can ascertain operating profit. Then investing activity, they will get investing profit. And third will be uh, that is uh, investing, operating and financial activities. Financial activities means, so how much you will get this income? There are two types of flows there, inflows and outflows will be there. In, in, means uh, in uh, cash flows, inflows and outflows. Inflows means how cash is coming. And outflows mean how cash is going out. How cash is going out like that they will give to you. So by using this, they will prepare a statement is called cash flow state statement because they will give to you balance it up to years. Say for example, 21, 23, they will give the balance sheet. In that balance sheet, in that balance sheet, first you have to first you have to ascertain, they will give to you on the asset side, cash in hand and cash at bank. Cash in hand, cash at bank. It is called cash and cash equivalent. Cash and cash equivalent, you can consider cash in hand, cash at bank, correct? So this, they are not using this cash flow statement. It is called cash and cash equivalent. Cash and cash equivalent, they can use for this. So just see there. So here, this statement preparation of uh, cash flow statement is very simple. You will get this balance here. First, you will get that cash in hand and cash at bank, opening and closing. So if you will get that balance at the end closing balance, then your statement is tally. How to prepare? They will take first will be net profit as per profit and loss account. They will compare the profit. 
as per profit and loss account. Then less operating profit A. Then next is investing activities. Operating activities, investing activities and financing activities. And at the end, add cash and cash equivalent opening. You will get cash and cash equivalent closing. This is a statement prepared. Because to getting the exactness of cash balance and bank balance or cash and cash equivalent, they prepare cash flow statement. Got it? So these are the things there. After that, working capital management. We will go on making discussion in this connection. Now, working capital. That is concept of definition of working capital. Then components of working capital. And the account receivable and the management and inventory management. So these are the 12 topic for you, 12 topic. And there is 100 marks portion here in this connection. So now in this, considering this working capital, what is the meaning of working capital? So friends, these are the actually topic three they are given to you. Three topic, just see. And by purification made there for each and every topic. So there will be four questions they can ask you. Each and every topic they can ask question. Huh? Means every topic. They can every topic they can ask you questions. Means question number one consisted five. A, B, C, D, E, like this. Attempt any four. Consisted five mark each. Hmm? Five mark each. Say for example, they give on the first topic. They will ask you define management accounting and functions of management accounting like that. A. Then scope of management accounting, like that they will give to you. Means each and every question they can ask. Three topics are there, ask four questions. So don't discard anything. Don't drop any topic here. Because each and every topic they will ask you questions. I have not brought your question paper. Otherwise, you will got the ideas for these things. I have not brought that the old question papers are there. Uh, WhatsApp. No, uh, coming in the coming uh, Sunday or coming, no? I will bring you. Hmm? I bring no problem. So concrete notes is also there. I just I miss that where I left some concrete notes is there also on this topic means on the management accounting. Not Marathi, uh, con not Konkani English only. English. English only. You may write in uh, Konkani or uh, not in Marathi or in English also. English English is very nice. You are from Goa, no? And then no problem for you. Hmm. You are from Goa means no problem for writing in English. English is very easy language. As compared to Marathi and all. Correct, no? It is easy language. I am also Marathi people. I am Maharashtrian. <laughs> Actually, I am from belong to Belgaum. Hmm. Belgaum means the proper Belgaum. I am living there. I am retired. I am uh, 36 years of services and retired. Here in RPD, RPD College, Senior College. Now, at present, I am going to BMS, Bachelor of Management Studies. I am teaching their income tax and all these things. So, uh, near about every year, my students stood first in board. Uh, last year, the 30th, 30th students who scored 100 and 100. Every year, I am taking extra classes in there. Uh, in Savant uh, there are near about 15 uh, chartered accountant. 15 CS students are there, mines. They completed their CA degrees and all. So, I am the paper setter also. Eight times papers come all over Maharashtra. So like this, by getting huge of uh, experience on this ground. Huh. Okay, okay, I'll come in Sunday, I'll bring this. Hmm? But uh, just we'll see, this old pattern, the new pattern, how it is coming, I not get the exact idea. But uh, so by looking to this uh, book and old book, it is same. Page number is also same, only they can change the number, this com 531, only code number they are changes. Got it? Otherwise, syllabus is the same, nothing. Same syllabus is there. Hmm? Now we'll see this thing. Uh, we'll see the concept of working capital. It is detail. We'll see it now. So I'll uh, see these things in detail. The concept of working capital. So just see. Concept of working capital. Theoretical portions and one problem I will take there. Probably. They can ask one problem. And three questions means five totally five questions out of five you have to attempt four five questions five is a four 
for the pi painting like that hmm? means there is option for you for each and every question one option will be there okay in that we'll see concept of working capital now concept of working capital concept of working capital now you'll see just see listen concentrately now here most probably if you refer this book all questions comes in this book only they follow this book only huh? while drawing the question papers so by building the question paper they can use these things <coughs> Page number 211, it is concept of working capital. 211. Page 211. Ah. Now, just I'll give the ideas. Just listen concentrately here. Here, what is the concept of working capital? What is the meaning of working capital? Working capital is excess of current assets or current liabilities working capital. Excess of current assets over current liability is working capital. Our working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. Current assets minus current liabilities. Then what, are, what is current assets now? We'll see. Current assets are those assets which can be converted within a span of time into cash. Immediately converted into cash is called current assets. For example, cash in hand, cash at bank, sundry debtors. Bills receivable, prepaid expenses, stock, for stock inventory they can call. These are all current assets. So just see what is there. First is cash in hand, cash at bank, cash in hand, cash at bank. All is given in this book. Listen only. Hmm? While I will explaining each and everything in, in books, go and uh, deeply just you can silently read this thing. You came to know, you got the ideas. There is no question for you for uh, uh, grasping because English, go on English is very nice. Man, English, huh? So here uh, I'm uh, living in Mapsa only. In Mapsa one flat is there, which is entered there. Uh, Korlim not in uh, Hansabat. Uh, backside of the, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Backside, huh? not there, in the police station. Backside of the police station. That side, Hansabat. In front of Mantra, this school is there. Oh, okay. mm. Mantra, in front of my building, my Papsa High School. Mantra, this school is there. So there I am living. My because my daughter is also a doctor and my son is an engineer. They took the education there in Papsa. They go out. Mm. <laughs> so that's uh, that's why I am very 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 versed with this uh, language and all these things. Mm. My daughter and son they can speak Konkani uh, very nicely, but uh, myself is not there. Mm. I am servicing in Savantwale, Maharashtra. But uh, for their education, I took the plan there. Yes. They completed all this. How many years? Uh, so, 2000, uh, 2000, I have been took there. No. Mm. Mm. That 23 years. 23 years back, I have took that flat. Now it is given uh, to my rented. My daughter's uh, friends have been given oh. that rented. They are living there only. Because after retirement, I took my I took the flat in Belgaum there, and uh, my wife last year is years off. That's why I'm rendering this job. So by taking extra classes and uh, this uh, going to the BMS college and all these things. Okay, now we'll see this thing concept will be there. Working capital is nothing but it is current assets minus current liabilities. Then current assets are those assets which can be converted into cash within a span of time. For example, cash in hand, cash at bank, sundry debtors, then bills receivable, prepaid expenses, then work in progress, then stock inventories. So these are all called current assets. Then what is current liabilities? Current liabilities are those liabilities which can be converted within a span of time into cash. Immediately conversion of time. Span will be less than one year. It is conversion, immediate conversion into cash. You got the liquidity immediately there. So for that, sundry creditors, bank code drops, bills payable, 
correct outstanding expenses these are all current land then provision for taxation provision for income tax dividend provision for making provision for making of dividend that is dividend on sales like that so these are all called current liabilities so here the concept this is also called they are given to you working capital is the difference between inflows of cash and outflows of cash just see it is the difference between inflows of cash and outflows of cash working capital is also called the circulating capital just see so all this is concept given just read later on correct so types is also there given here in this connection so here just see working capital is also called circulating capital it is one of the important concept in the it is a life blood of each and every business why working capital is required what is the need of working capital to mitigating mitigation the day to day activities working capital is required correct to mitigation of day to day activities day to day activities in the sense there are some uh, recurring in nature expenses recurring re expenses mean the expenses will recur again and again that is called recurring expenses for example payment of wages per month you have to pay the wages correct salaries per month you have to pay electricity bill correct per month so for this it requires cash so construction of big factory is not the whole things to construction of factory to making production other things are also required correct it requires material labor or else everything is required and for that it requires the working capital to mitigation of day to day expenses working capital is required and that's why working capital is called the important capital it is also called the circulating capital it is also called circulating capital they are given in this case yes now we'll see working capital comprises current assets and current liabilities it insists it, it consists of current assets and current liabilities called working capital got it current assets minus current liabilities working capital it is given to you so for this purpose just we'll see here in this connection working capital represents the total of all current assets and total of current liabilities total of all current assets less total of all current liabilities called working capital circulating capital it is given to you so for this purpose um, they will ask you what is working capital then you have to explain like this working capital is the excess of current assets or current liabilities then you have to explain what is current assets current assets are those asset which can be converted within a span of time into cash and the example of the current assets are cash in hand cash at bank sundry debtors bills receivable then prepaid expenses inventories work in progress or work in process these are all called as the current assets then current liabilities current liabilities are those liabilities which can be converted within a span of time into cash is called current liability for example sundry creditors bills payable bank order of outstanding expenses provision for taxation so these are all current liabilities so these are called the current assets means current assets minus current liabilities is called working capital working capital is called the circulating capital it is the main part the working capital is required to mitigate the day to day expenses is called working capital like that you have to one explaining the things then they are given to you main constitute of the working capital main constitute what are the main constitute what are the main concept what is the main parts of the working capital main parts so they are given to you first current assets current assets is given the main part components it is called elements it is called elements of working capital components of working capital parts of working capital so in that given to you the first will be your current assets the current assets constitute the following first is inventory it's inventory means stock inventory means stock the stock will be of three types stock will be of three type stock of raw material stock of work in progress and stock of finished goods see see for example take one articles that article cannot be finished exactly for the first time when it finished first it will go in three processes first will be raw material then semi raw material then finished like that three types three types because one article cannot be uh, comes into a finished product it goes in three processes processes 
raw material first then semi raw material then finished correct like that we will get the finished goods so here inventory is consistent of that is stock opening stock and closing stock of raw material opening stock of work in progress and closing stock of work in progress and closing stock of finished goods and opening stock of finished goods this is inventory this is the main component of working capital current assets is inventories mean stock got it then second diagonal just see trade debtors trade debtors page number 214 they given page number 214 214 214 page number 214 page number 214 got it 214 214 hmm? so they are given here just see trade debtors what is trade debtors trade debtors means it uh, comprises the credit sales. Just see here. Transaction of two types. First will be cash transaction and another, another is credit transaction. Cash transaction and immediate payment is made. Credit transaction and postponement of money for the future date. Correct? Postponement money for the future date. It is credit transaction. So therefore, whenever if you sold goods on credit, then it is it is our data. It is called credit sales. Correct? Means if you sell that credit, some period will be there for one month's credit, two months credit, 15 days credit, 10 days credit will be there. Correct? So for this, it requires the working capital. This is the component, another will be trade debtors. It is called trade debtors, means sundry creditors. What it? Third component in that will be prepaid expenses. Prepaid expenses means expenses which is paid in advance. Prepaid expenses, expenses paid before they are due. Expense that is prepaid, paid in advance, advance expenses. Then this is the component. Then another they are going to loans and advances. The they represent loans and advances given by the firm, other firms for a short period of time. Loans and advances. You have taken some loans, taken some advances. You want a loan and advances for a short period, 15 days, one month, two months, three months, like that. No, that is the long term, it is not coming in the current days. This is a long term loan. Personal loan, or maybe take housing loans or other things there. So, here, short period, immediately conversion, it is current. Current means short span of short period, it can convert it. Less than less, not two years, no, less, less than one year. Mm. So suppose if you sell sell a particular product on credit worthiness. So if you give for eight months credit, it is lost for you know. Correct? Minimum you can just give one month or two months credit, not more than that. Mm? If you give more than that, you get borrowed a loan, just you are going go, making the pay, pay repayment of loans and interest uh, like that only. You will be going in loss then. Correct? So for this, means credit will allow some spend, uh, period will be there. Some period means 10 days, 15 days, 1 month, 2 months, maximum 3 months. Not more than that will be you allowed the credit. So like this. Then investment. Investment, these are the comprises of short term investment. Investment made less than 1 year, not more than 1 year. Short term only. Only short term things we have to take into consideration. And this is the components, the part of the current assets. Then they are given to you cash and bank balance. How much cash immediately you can withdraw the cash, make payment like that. Cash and bank balance. How much cash with us in hand, cash in hand and cash at bank like that. This is called cash and cash equivalent. So this is the part they are given to you. First will be components, current assets. Which are current assets first? Inventories. Sunday data. Then next they are given prepaid expenses. Then loans and advances. Then investment then cash and bank balance. So these are the parts of current assets. We, apart from that, I told you what is the types of current assets, cash in hand, cash at bank, correct, inventories, Sunday debtors, then bills receivable, correct. So these then work in progress also. It comes the all current assets. They are given part component here. Got it? Then next we'll see the component of current assets. Means just see, the component 
the parts, the elements consisted of current assets and current liabilities. We see current assets now. Now we'll see what is the current liabilities. Component of some current liabilities. Conversion into span of time into cash is current liabilities. Then in that, first will be coming here sundry creditors. Sundry creditors means when you purchase the goods on credit worthiness, purchase goods, one month, two months also there. Sundry creditors means purchase on credit. It is Sunday creditors. Huh? Pur purchases on a credit, credit base. That is there. Then after that, bank will drop. Will drop facility will be taken. Will drop facility means current account is there. No? Same. Same things. So there is our current account. Because being as a businessman, being as a uh, trader, we want current account there. So if you want to take more money from your balance, then bank will give to you. That is all drop facilities. But it will be given for a short period. OD will be given for short period. Two months. Two months, three months, four months, six months, like that. A lot more than that. Correct? Another facility there, CC facility, cash credit facility is there. Cash credit means depends upon your turnover. Suppose your turnover 10 lakh, they will give you 20 lakhs CC. Cash credit is also there. Like that, here is a bank OD also there. Bank OD drop is also given to you because you are the well known customers. You are the trader. You are the businessman. Correct? So, being as a businessman and trader, easily they will give you the OD facilities, more money than what you have deposited there. Because they know this, you are the well-known customers. Every day you are coming, depositing money, withdrawing also, time to time you are coming, and you need money, extra money, then the, your balance, they will give to you allowed. And the extra money which is allowed to you, that is called bank order, OD facility. Only current account holder only. Being as a saving person, I got a saving account in bank and ask, so give me 10, 10 lakh rupees, or 10,000, or 5 lakh rupees, OD facility. They will not allow for me because there is no business for me. There is no feasibility to pay that repayment of that money. So that's why it is not like that only. Only patiently. It comes under the current liabilities. Then another is short term loans. So here, short term loans borrowed by the firms or banks or any other part is current liabilities is a short notes. Short that is short terms. Then provisions. Sometimes you have to make some provisions here. Provision for income tax, provision for Making dividend also. Make the provisions. No, per month you have to pay. So your turnover is there. For that, if you pay the provisions, uh, income tax. We are not paid income tax at glance at last. Correct? Under one section 193 is lost to the government. Per month you have to pay the dividend. And for that, we have to make a provision for this. Quarterly, we have to make the settlement of these things. Correct? Quarterly, we have to pay the income tax. So turnover like that. And we have calculated this much. It, uh, uh, income tax for this for salary person also, correct? So we are paying salary. We say say for two lakh rupees income tax. Income tax officer is the tax payment also. Huh? Highest payment is taken. For one lakh rupees payment, I take the income tax goes to income office. Income tax? Why they can take? So income tax is a tax on income. Correct? So there are source of income, Jesse. What is the source of income? There are five sources of income. You can ask question like first is income from salary, income from house property. Because you have got uh, so many four to ten bungalows are there and you're getting the rent. That is also income. Income from house property. Third will be income from gains and profession. If you are doing the business, that income still is counted there. Fourth will be capital gains. Capital gains means long term investment. Capital gains more than 36 months. Gain is there. Suppose you got a piece of land, say for in the year you got a piece of land, say for 5 lakh rupees. And if you dispose this piece of land now in the year 2003, so 5 lakhs, it will be more than 1 crore 50 lakhs. Correct? 150 crores. Then what is your income there? 1 lakh, 1 crore 45 lakhs is income for you. Huh? Inflated. And if you deposit this money into bank, Immediately they charge all this money on the income tax there. If you open the capital gain account there and you deposit for a period of 20 years, two years, no income tax. Withdraw that within two years and reinvest your that money in our purchase on other things. So tax on income, this is the and income from other sources also. So. Suppose you own a lottery ticket, you own a horse races, gambling, matka, all these things. That is also income from other sources also. Interest in bank deposit also. All this, this is the source. Then why they can charge income tax? 
government can charge the income tax to making the development of the nations. India and all these things, this is apart from, different from these things. Why they can charge income, tax on income we have to pay. Each and everything we have to pay GST also, goods and services tax also. So by taking this GST, goods and services tax, by taking tax on income, government can take this income and utilize making the development of the nations. Correct? Development of the nations. Being as individual and other person they charge. Means from company, from partnership firm, from company, from individuals, correct? From association of person also, they charge income tax. To making the development of the nations. By collection of the tax, they make the development of the nations. Hmm? What they make development? It is our money. From our tax. Or in income, they can take in money. And they can make the development of these things. Got it? So that's that's how it is. Tax, it is a definition, it's still an income tax, tax on income. Like that. Correct. By utilized by making the development of the nations. Okay. Then uh, these are the parts they are given to you. Provisions. What is the provision then? They are given. These are included provision for taxation. Provision for taxation and proposed dividend and contingencies. Contingencies. What is the meaning of contingencies? Good things. Contingencies means you have to keep some money for future period for happening or non-happening the events. It is called contingencies. Keep the money for saving. Huh? For saving. Contingency. We don't know what will be happen for the future. So this is the some lump sum amount, some funds we have to create, make a provision for some funds. Like a LIC type. LIC type. We have make a provision for your future period. For happening or non happening. So, you know, for death. Death is an uncertain thing. Uncertain things. It can be happen anytime. Hmm? For these things, for safety purpose, we have to keep some money here. Say, for example, suppose you have got a factory. You are not making any contingencies for the factory. So, uh, by accidentally one labor gone, he died. Then, where you give the compensation for that labor? So, uh, uh, then they can, they can keep a reserve money. That is reserve fund. Then reserve for contingencies. Claim for compensation like that. They make a provision from that. And from that provision, they immediately pay the money. If you made the provision, then we can pay that. Otherwise not, no. That's why this is a provision which is pay, made for happening or non-happening also. It is happen means give death. Not happen, no, 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 no accident taking place. No, nothing. Your money will be saved. It will continue. Carry forward to the next year. <coughs> Like the next year, two, two, two accidents take place. From that, you can take money. Included in insurance. Insurance like this. This is called contingencies. I mean, this is the amount keep reserve for the future period for happening or non happening the events. It is called contingencies. Okay. Now we'll see. So, friends, these are the things. And they are given to you chart here. Just see. They, they are given the current assets and current liabilities charts. So, you got it. But what I explained there, this is given to you. Now we'll see types of working capital. <coughs> Next page. This is little things. They can ask you the question on this ground like this. What are the types of working capital? What are the components of working capital? What is working capital? Like that they can ask the question. And one problem they can ask. Calculate the requirement of working capital. They can ask one problem. And four question, theory question. Or the question they can ask you. Okay. Now just we'll see here. Types of working capital. They are given five types of working capital. There are five types of working capital. First is they are given to you permanent working capital. Permanent. permanent. I'll tell to you this thing. Then second is temporary working capital. Then fourth is gross working capital. Fifth is net working capital. And fifth is negative working capital. Now, just see here, permanent work capital means maintain the account of investment of all current assets only. So, just see, what is the meaning of permanent working capital? Means making the investment of all current assets only. Only current assets. This is the permanent working capital. Permanent working capital means cash in hand. Cash in hand. Cash at bank. Because we have to keep money. See, see, your business is there. You cannot keep cash in hand not more than 20,000 rupees. 
excess of 20 you deposit money in bank it will be safe as well as secure you will enjoy interest also on it correct correct no yes. safe and secure and getting gaining also uh, correct like this therefore permanent working capital means it is all current assets are called permanent working capital got it this is the one type they given just see here so it means the minimum amount of investment in all current asset which is regarded as all times to carry the minimum level of business activities. So to carry the business activities, it requires the permanent working capital permanently in current assets only. The operating cycles continues the process and therefore it need to the current assets. Now just see what is the operating cycle they are given just you in the next page they are given by means of circle just see what is the operating cycle so just see first will be cash correct Your, they are given the operating cycles of the working capital first cash, first cash correct then after second raw material raw means just see from cash we purchase raw material okay. material we purchase okay. correct okay. correct after that they are given to you work in progress I mean work will be started it is in progress First, will cash is there with the help of cash will purchase material and we'll getting money and we'll start work doing doing work. Correct. Then after that, third is yours to you, finished goods. Then we'll with the help of that material be making, we'll make a finished product for that. We purchase means means a constructive product there. Correct. After this finished goods, it goes to the debtors now. Then with that product is finished, then we sell this. Sell that product to the on credit base, two months credit. Correct. Correct. So, say for example, I am the manufacturer of this table. Correct. With my cash, I purchase the material, make tables. This is the finished goods. Then I will sell to you. If you want 10 tables for you. Correct. And you ask me, give me give some credit for me, two months credit. Correct. Means I will sell this table, 10 tables with you on credit base. You are my debtors. Debtors is the person, person who purchased the goods on credit base. Got it? Sales effected. Credit sales. Then after that, once debtors finish. So this is the working capital cycle, trade cycle. It is. Got it? Main point is cash. Cash. By cash, we can do each and everything and make sales lastly. And enjoy the profit. Correct? Got it? This is the operating cycle of manufacturer firm. They can use this thing. Hmm? They, they can ask you a question, what is the operating cycle of manufacturers? So you have to explain in this manner by doing this diagram. Diagramic representation will be there. Yes. No, no. If you represent diagram, you will get good marks. Five or five, you will get there. By mentioning the, it is very easy to just see. Start one number is cash, number two is raw material. Then work in progress third, fourth will be finished goods and fifth will be data. Got it? You got a circle there. Just first circle and on that circle start with the cash and comes to the data last. This is the manufacturing trade cycle. It is. No. No, like this like you, diagramic representation is a very nice thing. No, they will uh, emphasize you, impress you, impress the examination. They will do good math for you with the help of uh, explanation and diagram representation. You will face good marks. Hmm? Okay. Now we will uh, see this thing, permanent capital. Then now it is the temporary. Types of five types of capital there. First is permanent, which is involvement of only all current asset. Current assets. Got it. Then second is temporary working capital. Temporary. What is the meaning of temporary? This also called as fluctuating or variable working capital. Fluctuating or variable. Fluctuating means changes. Variable means varies. Fluctuation means changes, changes made. Fluctuates, change. Variable means varies, means again change. Varies, varies means change. Correct? Changes made. Varies from varies like this. Changes made. So, for this, there, these are also called as fluctuating or variable working capital. The amount of temporary working capital keeps in uh, changing and depending upon the change in the production of sales. This is the 
depends upon the sales. Depends upon your turnover. How much working capital required? What is temporary working capital? It depends upon the sales. If your turnover is more, turnover is more. It does not require working more amount of working capital. If turnover is less, it requires working capital because for production, by making production continuously, it requires day by day material and all everything is required. No, and immediately or disposing all these things selling, then no need of more working capital. Correct? Because you are selling. No, cash is coming. Correct? But if it is uh, selling is not turnover is not more, then it requires more amount of working capital. Therefore, they are given to you that is working capital. The amount of temporary working capital keeps on changing and depending upon the changes in the production and sales. Production and sales it depends upon the production and sales. Correct. Therefore, it is varies. If production is more, it requires more. Sales is also less requires like this. Depends upon production and sales. It is called temporary. Then next is the, the given to you gross working capital. So it is the amount of funds invested in the various components of current assets. Current assets, the gross working capital is considerable useful for making current estimate of working capital and needs of the firm. Estimation is required. That is the given to you gross working capital. Gross working capital, Dober. How much means not net like this. So this is our factory. How much gross working capital required? Say for example, 50 lakhs. This is a big factory. One crore spec. High, high amount. I mean it is the gross things. Not exactly like this. Gross, global. Not new one, not net like this. So this is the global. Means it is called gross. Then net working capital. Net means new one. Means apart from all these things, so exactly you keep the uh, one lakh working capital. Exactly you got one lakh working capital. This is for net. You keep working capital one lakh, and exactly that all expenses come one lakh. This is the net working capital equal like this. Then they are given like this here. Means it is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. Gross working capital means different asset difference between current assets and current liabilities is net working capital. Net. Sometimes just see, just see. I'll take. How they can calculate working capital? First, current assets minus current liability. You will get their gross working capital. Then add some reserve for contingencies. Add some reserve for contingency. What is the addition of reserve for contingency? There are chances of increasing the material. Cost of material will be increased. Cost of labor will be increased. Cost of overhead will be increased. And for that, they add some reserve for contingency from that gross. Current assets minus current liabilities, gross working capital, and reserve for contingencies there for increase or for increasing the material labor over its and like this. Then you will get that net working capital. Correct? Net working capital. By adding some reserve for contingencies on the gross working capital, you will get that net. I mean, it is the current assets minus net current assets minus net current liabilities is called the working capital. That is called net working capital. Then negative. Negative working capital means when current assets are less than the current liabilities, you will get negative working capital. Negative means if current assets are 2 lakh and current liabilities are 3 lakh, minus 1 lakh will get negative working capital. 1 lakh. But it will be negative because your liability is more than asset. Liability is more than asset, not healthy. That's why it is negative working capital. Like this. So these are the five heads of working capital. Apart from this, then meaning of working capital in the cycle, just see, meaning of working capital cycle, just below that. Hmm. So they are given first will be the duration of time required to complete the following cycle events, case of manufacturing firm is called as operating cycle. The time which is required to completion of one particular manufacturing work, it is called, they are given to you. Uh, it is called the duration. Duration is required. Correct? So say for example, I am the manufacturer of this table. Correct? To prepare this table, it requires one day. Correct? One labor, one pre pre prepare table one day. Like that. It requires duration. Time required. 
so it is duration duration is the things then second conversion of cash into raw material then you have to convert your cash to bringing the raw material cash is converted to bring the material correct so with the help of cash you purchase material no correct material that is called raw material kacha mal main cash main cash then third will be conversion of raw materials into work in process your raw material will be work in process means actually work started with the help of material we prepare the table like this correct correct first will be cash mean purchase of material after purchasing conversion of cash into work in progress means work will be started there kaam chalu baro hai ki nahi apan rasta chalu asna le ta work in progress kaam chalu hai so like that with the help of that material they can start work that is called work in progress correct no point no like this like this then next Fourth will be conversion of finished goods into debtors and bills receivable through sales. Then, after making all these finished goods, we sell it to debtors, and we'll take the bills receivable from them. Money will be coming from them. Sell the goods like this. Then, next will be conversion of debtors into bills receivable and cash like this. Therefore, you to write like this point, and you show this table. Important. Important it is. They can ask you. explain the meaning of working capital cycle also explain the meaning of working capital cycles got it then we'll move to next things then they will ask to you working capital management in that they have got you determinants of working capital what are the determinants in management means determination of working capital how to determine the working capital so here determination of working capital they are given number 15 15 in numbers 15 numbers 15 are determinants determinants manje nirdeshana ghatak tyache kay what is the elements components determinants determinants of working capital they can ask this question what are the 15 points are there correct No, no, you, not 15 points. Suppose they ask you, what are the determinants of? I write the five points of determinants of working capital. So just see, for five marks, it is not possible to writing all 15 points. Correct? Any five points you can take. Any any one of 15 important points. Hmm? So accordingly, they can ask, what are the determinant determinant? Uh, what are the determinants of working capital? explain any five point explain any six point because marks are five there it is not a big questions for 15 marks if 15 marks then we have to write for 1.1 1.1 1. marks like that got it you are asking nice question main main for you to cover out of any no no in uh, serial ways no not any chronology uh, uh, correct correct what you are following that you can write there first now what are the determinant first will be nature of enterprises so nature of enterprises second is size of business just below that they give determinants ha huh? it is chart given then second is production policy of the firm then terms of buying and selling then value of sales manufacturing process cycle business cycle supply of raw materials then profit margin profit apportionment then growth and expansion then operating efficiency capital structure of the company price level and credit policy of rbi reserve bank of india so these are the various determinants hmm? i will tell you explain i will explain this point now so these are the elements these are the components these are the determinants निर्देशांक इट इज कॉल्ड मराठी घटक काय आहेत त्याचे वर्किंग कॅपिटलचे घटक काय आहेत मग कुठल्या घटकाला किती वर्किंग कॅपिटल लागणार आहे हाऊ मच कॅपिटल रिक्वायर फॉर वर्किंग कॅपिटल फॉर डूईंग दिस बिझनेस इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन नेचर साईज सेल्स प्रोडक्शन लाईक दॅट मीन्स बाय डूईंग दिस नेचर फॉर नेचर मिनिमम लेस कॅपिटल रिक्वायर आर मोर कॅपिटल you have to explain now just see. first we first point now 
nature of enterprises. First point. Means how much working capital required? It depends upon the nature of it, just below that, page number 221. 221, first point. First point. Now just see. Nature of and enterprises correct so for the firm engaged in manufacturing activities sufficiently large amount of funds will require if the nature manufacturing business they are doing the manufacturing business what is manufacturing mean making production for manufacturing business requires large amount of working capital because day by day you have to purchase raw materials. Correct? That's why nature is manufacturing. Correct? For making manufacturer requires the huge amount, large amount of working capital. Like that you have to write. Nature, 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 nature of the enterprises. Enterprises means organization. Correct? Surup kaya business. It depends upon the nature. If nature is manufacturing, requires huge amount of working capital. More amount of working capital required. They are given. Uh, they are given for the small companies. Have suppose you have got the small companies. Your enterprises is small in nature. It requires small amount, less amount of working capital. Got it? That that much point you have to explain. Not completely. Just underline this. For manufacturing, requires more amount of working capital. And for small enterprises, requires less amount of working capital. Finish this point. Conclude there only. Got it? Then next, next there. Size of business. Size of business. See, the, your size of business is large, big, huge. It requires more amount of working capital. The size of the business is small, requires small amount of working capital. Size type. Depends upon your size. And by looking to the company, you will get it is a great company, big company. It is a small company. So for big companies, require big amount of working capital, more, more amount of working capital for small companies because size is small, small requirement, small amount of uh, small, not more income, but it requires small, small. Then third, production policy of the firm. So production policy of the firm, the production policy pursued by the management have significant effects of requirement of working capital. For example, if management enterprises decided to hold inventory worth three months, three months production requirement remains fairly and steady production throughout the year, it will require large amount of capital. So they are given to you production policy of the business. Production policy means they are requiring business doing business activities for three months three months so for that it requires also more amount of working capital because that production is continuously go on going on say for example sugar cane sugar cane factory it's it is work for six months only this six months it is really close production policy what is the production policy is there yes they were decide only it requires like this. Means depending upon how much working capital required. For six months, they require a huge amount of capital. After six months, no working capital. Take the rest. Uh, rest, rest. But they make, make the payment for wages, salaries, and all these things for the worker. Including six months like this. So it depends upon the uh, production policy. Then terms of buying and selling. So terms of buying and selling. So for if you are buying more amount. You are purchasing raw material heavily. Every day you are purchasing. It requires more amount of working capital. Then selling. Then selling. If you are making sales is rapidly, require less amount. Because turnover is more. More turnover means getting money. Means depends upon the purchasing and selling. It requires amount. It is depends upon the purchasing and sell like this. That gives to you. The <clears throat> now just see. The term which uh, goods are brought and sold decide to large extent the amount of cash reserves that will have hold. So large extent you are doing these things. It requires 
huge amount of working capital more amount of working capital then they are given to you if the business of the firm managed by buy the materials on credit but uh, sells the product on cash you see you purchase the goods on credit and sells the goods on cash base requires less capital less working capital because you are purchasing but time to time you are getting cash selling cash basis not credit allowed correct it requires less amount of working capital it's like this then next will be volume of sales volume means turnover like this volume hmm? now just see needs of working capital are mostly determined by the volume of sales it depends upon the volume it depends upon the turnover turnover correct so like this they are given to you in the fact in this factor which affect the size of working capital a firm maintains current assets because are needed because they are needed to support the operational activities which results sales so here value means volume of sales because sales turnover is more your your production is busy for everywhere and turnover is in increasing that also it require more amount of working capital correct to making production and making sales also it require the more amount of working capital value the manufacturing process cycle just see manufacturing process cycle so manufacturing of investment work in process essentially depended upon the time lag between this thing time lag between the production the process see see the process is more if you are given the credit worthiness is more require more amount of working capital is if you are giving the process is less less amount of working capital means within the prescribed time you are doing each and everything require the less amount of working capital so like that they are given to you then manufacturing then business cycle now just see business business expand during the period prosperity and declines during the period of depression consequently more working capital so just see production is more but there is a depression business depression in the business if production is huge but no sales depression is there correct depletion therefore it requires more amount because your working capital is blocked there correct and another thing they are given consequently in the period of boom inflation is there period of inflation in period of inflation also require working capital just see moreover working capital is required during the period of period of prosperity and less during the period of depression see the period of depression less amount of working capital required and in the period of inflation more amount of working capital required inflation means the prices are high inflated right rate are high that's why it require high amount of working capital and in the period of depression depletion reduction less amount of working capital required I mean depends upon depression and inflation correct means for depression less amount of working capital for inflation more amount of working capital got it got the clear point just see depression depression means mandi less amount correct in inflation mandi mujhe kay zala ata tezi zalele hai because material rate is high labor is high wo rate is high it is inflation more amount of working capital required to purchase of material more amount of working capital required so depression depletion period less and inflation more more amount of working capital then supply of raw material just see supply of raw material need of uh, need to pile the substantially large stock of material in uh, that is increase the level of investment of raw inventory suppose the raw material is increase it requires the more amount of working capital means supply of material correct yes. then supply of material means purchase of material level investment uh, level of investment so for this that is it depends upon the inventory in case of specific manufacturing certain companies have to obtain a maintain large reserve of raw material due to irregular sales and 
that is intermediate supply means means less supply less supply and it requires more amount of operating capital mm, correct or because supply is not more that's why it requires more amount less more amount of working capital then profit margin just see profit margin the net profit of an important source of working capital is extend has been entered in cash so profit margin means earning profit here if profit is there you got a huge amount of profit by making sales or turnover it requires less amount of working capital because you got a profit cash is with you selling less you selling more by selling more you got huge amount of cash and selling is also by profit margin by increasing the sales the sales price there you got cash no if cash is more less amount of working capital required correct like this then next will be profit proportion profit proportion so corporate taxes affect the rate of dividend and the concern they will ultimately the effect of working capital also just see so on dividend means on sales you have to declare the dividend correct on your profit you have to pay the taxation so it affects the working capital correct to making payment of tax to uh, declaring dividend also to payment of dividend also it requires more amount of working capital you have to pay the income tax you have to pay the dividend on tax so it requires more amount of working capital then next is growth and expansion now just see another factor which influence the need of working capital is the policy of growth and expansion if the business concern uh, ambitious plans growth expansion it requires large amount of the your growth is expansion you expand your business in use making the expansion of the business growth is more require more amount of working capital then expansion is less growth is less less amount of working capital required like this then they are given to you operating efficiency mean by accelerating the efficiency of production that is engineering and the planners length of production of period can be a uh, short shorten consequently fund requires to carry investment in working capital will be declined so by doing this business that is planners then engineering and all these things it requires just they can go on making plan only engineer they can plan correct they are not making production correct it requires less amount of working capital just they are going looking making plan so making a factory making a plan for this it is doesn't require any capital only for that engineers they have to pay the fee only correct for for planners and for engineers so it doesn't it doesn't require more amount of working capital they are given here then capital structure of the company just see the capital structure of the company refers to the composition of the capitalization and it includes long term sources loans reserves shares and bonds the shareholders have provided the fund towards the working capital so suppose you want to purchase the bond shares and all these things it requires more amount of working capital because you need fund how you need the funds how you collect the funds what are the source of collecting the funds by borrowing money correct by uh, purchasing shares by issuing bonds so for this it requires more amount of working capital also like this then price level <clears throat> generally the price uh, levels will be required the firm maintain the higher amount of working capital generally price level so price are reduced less price are more more amount price level depends upon this up, 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 up and down means inflation and depletion like this material is uh, uh, price is here high, high, higher require higher amount of then materials rate is low less amount but nowadays it, there will not be any depression every inflation is there correct the cost of these things the, the cost of the chair just see last year we have purchased for 500 now it will be 10 uh, 1000 rupees inflation mm, more like requirement is more like that now they are given credit policy of rbi <coughs> this is credit policy of important Reserve Bank of India has given the policy 
or the working capital? How much requirement of working capital? Means they have fixed up some policy. Reserve Bank of India is given a guideline for the particular manufacturer, particular enterprises, or particular organization. So as per their guidelines, they can maintain the working capital. So just see they are given here in this collection. The credit policy of RBI is the another important factor which influences the requirement of working capital. The Reserve Bank of India follows the activities and restricted the policies. Working capital position become difficult. See, see working position. Sometimes RBI, I mean Reserve Bank of India is the banker's bank, central bank, main bank. If their policy, they restrict the things. So many restrictions is made then it is difficult to raise the capital correct means is just follow the strict policy rbi given guideline this is the restriction so after completion of this restriction you can't allow the loan and all like this so the given on these things it requires the more things uh, suppliers insist the advance payment while it will be difficult to sell unless the competitive credit terms uh, offered by the customer, therefore, the price it requires the more amount of working capital. Due to restriction, you are, you are not sell your product, correct? It is blocked. Therefore, require more amount of capital because your capital is blocked. We are not to sell because restriction is put. <coughs> some guidelines is given. RBI put some restriction there. And due to that obstacle, due to that restriction, so it is difficult to them to doing the activities. So, policy, Reserve Bank of India given some policy. So, unless and until this, they will be like this. You complete these things, then you can do business. There are some restrictions they will give, no? Obstacles are there. Kahi nirband ghalta na? Arabia nirband ghalta hai. Parabar na? Kahi nirband poolna ke reshwa tumhala milna nahi. Haan, complete karal maji. It means put some restriction. RBI Jete Tumala guidelines at the binding business immediately you can go and making the binding business there because pollution and everything will be there. No, huh? they will give guidelines. You complete this, take proper precaution for this, not to go pollution like that. Then you can complete them, then we'll give these things. Huh? RBI policy has been put some restriction there. Rules and regulations, laws and bylaws can be put by RBI guidelines for them. It's requirement like this. So these are the things. So that's it for the <coughs> 15 points. And uh, now we'll see how to prepare the working capital in the next coming period. We'll see. Hmm? Sunday coming, coming Sunday. Hmm. Tomorrow not possible. Coming Sunday will come. OK? Tomorrow, because there is match, no. It's, uh, enjoy the match, final match. <laughs> we'll come is there. So that's why. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, OK, OK. Good. So next turn, then question papers also there. I'll give these things. So like this, I'll prepare the notes here. Just here, uh, like this. Defined budget and budgetary control. The second, second group. I think. See, this is the first group. I think. See here, advantages of interfirm comparison. Then the sources of funds. Then this is a lack of knowledge and everything. Explain the use of funds for statement. Then they are the current ratio. Then see, uh, that equity current ratio. Ratio analysis. Just I think it is a ratio here also. You see, defined budgetary control. Here this is a cash flow. Then flexible budget. In the second part it is. Um, explain budgetary uses coordination, ideal standard ratio, setting of standard. Is the second part I think. Types of responsibility of center. Okay. Like that, I got the notes. Just I'll see. I I don't know where I kept it. Just we'll see. Here, like this. Explain this advantages of fund flow statement. Like this. Like just here. Explain the types of ratio. December 19, it is asked. Hmm, for five marks. Question number two, E, for five marks. Then ratio can be grouped under the following heads traditional classification, functional classification, users, their level. In the balance ratio, I told you. Then the value ratio. Finish, finish, finish. So like this. Okay. We'll wait here. <clears throat>
Okay, wait. Thank you for uh, uh, listening quietly. Mm-hmm.